queen of the dead in the house so happy there's the box right there by the way thanks for watching everyone this is game god 2x or dennis and uh here's my little unboxing see how everything's packed also, I use this uh, so that if I have, ever have to pack her away, I know how to put her back. <laughs> um, and this is weird. I saw this in someone else's post, and I didn't. I thought it was fake, but it looks like a empty uh, paper towel roll. So we'll see what's in there. Anyway, that's the inside. Let me uh, take it out. Okay, number two thirty-five, and I apologize if I'm yelling. Um, most of the time my volume is very low and people can't hear me, so I'm trying to yell. Um, anyway, here's the base. Pretty big. Um, as you can hear, there's something inside rattling. So that can't be good. <laughs> um, and this base is very light. So, I really hope that's not a trend. I like heavy bases. Uh, we'll see. As long as it looks good, right? Anyway, there's the base. Pretty basic. Kind of wish these were shinier and not just so dull. Um, it's alright. Anyway, keep on unboxing here. Alrighty, let's see this queen. So, I'll start from the top work my way down look at the the cowl I guess this is called or the skull on her head um, mine's came out pretty good um, the eyes are, are decent they're probably not a hundred percent but I've seen a lot worse so looks pretty good there might be a little issue there around the hair but that's easy to fix um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. The makeup's pretty good. Um, not so much like the prototype, but still pretty damn good. Her jewelry is a lot more impressive. Um, obviously online the prototype looked amazing. And I wish they were using real, like, you know, little, like, fake little crystals or something put in here, but these are just painted. I kind of wish that was, like, you know, little jewels or something. And we go here to her breastplate, I guess. Um, yeah, this came out fantastic. Look at the detail. That came out really, really good. Not too sure why this isn't like, you know, fabric or something. But, you know, looks good. There's her armband. Again, this stuff really pops. I really like the detail on it. And she got her rings. Focus, there you go. There's the queen. She looks good. Here we go down. Got these two little demons at the bottom. The base is okay. Um, it's kind of plain. I mean, I don't know. I don't, the base, I think, could have been better. Um, these could have just been simple little fake little gems. Instead, it's just a red circle with black paint on it. I don't know. I think they could have done better. Um, also, I don't know if you can see it here. Focus. Come on. I don't know. Some of this stuff is uh, on the base is a little easy to chip. 
So you'll see even though it's black here, some other places might be, you know, a little chipped or something. Not that big of a deal. All right, let's get closer into these bad guys here. Actually, before we do that, let me finish doing her jewelry. There you go. There's her waist. Again, this came out really cool. Yeah, it looks really nice. Let's get her jewelry over here. Again, came out really nice. And of course, as I'm doing this video, I'm just looking for imperfections. Anything that's, you know, glaring, you know, that's gonna make me ask for uh, a new piece or, you know, a fix. So far, so good. Knock on wood. Let's turn her around. Here's the back. Her tattoo. Now in the forums, there's been some people whose tattoos have not aligned. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to have the tattoo align. And I don't see any breaks in the tattoo. It's a decal. Uh, Sideshow stated that it, you know, they were put using decals. These are not painted. Uh, but as you can see, mine is pretty close to the spine. So I'm happy. Just so you can see the back. Looks pretty uh, badass. I like that. You know, I love the skin color. Um, you know, she's part of the Court of the Dead, so she should look a little dead. Some people, uh, might complain about that, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, to me, the paler and more unhealthy she looks, the better. Her derriere. Let's see the jewelry. I think the tattoo decals came out great. And also her butt, I mean, came out great too. Got a little rump there. Look at that. She's sexy, she's deadly, you know, she's pretty cool. All right, so let's get to these disgusting little, I don't know what they are, trolls or, uh, here we go. Now again, um, I think they could have done a better job, you know, painting these and, you know, making it look I don't know, grosser, I guess. I mean, it looks like a very simple... I don't know. I'm so used to McFarlane stuff, and he has so much details in his his stuff. Now, there was an issue with him getting into the peg. He's very loose. See how he moves around? I actually put tissue here. <laughs> Oops, I just blew it away. Hold on. <laughs> When you're paying for a $400 statue, of course you want to use tissue. It's a lifesaver. Anyway, the reason I have tissue there is because, I don't know if you can see the bottom here. When you put him in, if I can put him back in, if you didn't have the tissue, his hand would be like this. Hovering. Let's see if I can get this on camera. All right, there's his hand. So without the tissue, it's actually elevated, not touching the base, which kind of looks a little weird. So with the tissue, I'm able to kind of angle him and actually have his hand touch the base. So for you guys who are having some issues with him touching the base, that's my hack or fix for it. It's just put some tissue or something that's not gonna damage the piece and he'll be in place. But that's pretty cool, look at that. And his hands are a different color. I don't know if that's meant to be like that, but it's a little weird that his hands are a different color than the rest of his skin. But, you know, the other ones have a different color as well. See his hands are purple. And then his the rest of his body is a little bit different. 
And this guy here is just disgusting. I mean, look how ugly he is. It's fantastic. I think the teeth came out great. Of course, they, I think they could have done a better job with all the paint. I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. They're supposed to be dead. So, I mean, even if there's issues with the uh, scope and everything, you know, it's okay. There's a skin. Is that a chip? Or a pus. I think it's like a pus thing. Um, yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys how she looks without her little, um, uh, we call it skirt on because everything I read and everything I've seen it's gonna be a pain in the butt to put that skirt on so I'll come back later when I have the skirt on and she's in the display case but I'm happy she looks awesome Queen of the Dead all right I finally got her skirt on and I got it to where I like it. So it's a pain in the butt. Not really a pain in the butt. It's just you got to get it the way you want it. But here it goes. And here's how it looks. Look at that. That looks so awesome. Let me focus. Look at that. That looks awesome. I don't have her in display case yet. Because <clears throat> I wanted to turn this around so you could see what it looks like. This fabric is actually really nice. And I actually got it in her hands. If you can see that. Alright. Man, this video is all over the place. I apologize. I just want you to take a look at the nice detail fabric. I love it when they have these fabrics with the little... Um, wires in it and, and the wires are actually at the top here on the top seam so you can actually sculpt it uh, so you can actually uh, bend them to the way you like it at the bottom it's just free flowing so I have it so that it's just hanging right underneath her butt so it looks real nice again I'm trying to record and shoot video at the same time so focus come on there we go. As you can see, how the full skirt looks. I'm very happy with this piece. I don't know, for this one I was so very nervous because I've been, uh, you know, Sideshow hasn't, uh, Sideshow has been, you know, some issues with their statues and having some weird paint applications and googly eyes and I don't know, it's up and down with them. Like, some pieces are a knockout, like King Hulk. Um, and then some other ones are just, you know, like, you know, what are they thinking? So, I don't know. So, anyway, let me put her in the display case, and then I'll, uh, I'll get back to you and show you what it looks like. Okay, I know this is a long review, but I finally got her inside the uh, Besta here. Um, she's pretty short. She's only, uh, I think it was like 22 inches or so. So, I have plenty of room. And she looks magnificent. So, anyway, I haven't noticed anything wrong with her. And if there is something wrong, it's minor. I just can't think of any right now. I got her, her dress the way I want it. And these little ugly buggers sticking their head out. Look at that. That looks awesome. He's like peeking through the little dress and you can see his knife, his hand sticking out of there. Look at that. Anyway, this is really creepy and really awesome. I love it. Again, I collect McFarlane and, uh, you know, just started to get in, into Sideshow statue collecting only uh, about a year or two ago. So, very happy with this piece. was very nervous about it. I don't know why. Um, well, no, I know why. Because lately, some of Sideshow stuff has been kind of questionable as far as quality. But, you know, that's part of the fun, I guess, of uh, getting a statue. 
Anyway, I hope you guys like my reviews. Um, I don't really go, I guess, too deep into the reviews. I just like shooting a lot of video and, you know, if you're on the fence, you want to make sure that you're looking and seeing. Let me see if I can turn this. And uh, making sure that, you know, you know how it looks before it gets to your house, if you do decide to buy it. There's a back tattoo, which looks fantastic. Again, like I said before, um, it's uh, centered on the spine, uh, much better than most photos I've seen online. So I hope yours come out just as good as mine. Kind of made the skirt kind of curve around her, her bottom here. Kind of look like the, the prototype. Love the detail. Looks awesome. Turn her around again. She does have a lean. I, I must admit, um, she does lean. So, give you an idea. Can I focus there? Too far. But, um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm trying to straight here. As I go up, she slightly leans to the left. I believe that's the way the statue is meant to be. She's fitting in the pegs just fine. Um, if I push her, there's not really much give. So, I don't know. Over a long time, I wonder if she's going to start leaning more and more. But we shall see. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little iffy because she is leaning but not too bad, so we'll see. Anyway, this is my review. Uh, enjoy some of the pictures I'll put at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, let me know uh, if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, yeah, my, mine's came out great, so I'm loving it. Talk to you guys later. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Yeah.